Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me, Lesa Bun, here again with another video. Um, I posted a poll on my YouTube community the other day, and I was asking you guys, what would you like to see more on my channel? Would you like to see more um, ever so weeks or just casual gameplay? Um, so obviously, as you can see here, that leaks won by a landslide. But for those of you who wanted some more casual gameplay, I will be doing both. I'll post leaks and then some casual gameplay and just be going back and forth because I want to like, you know, I want to make everyone happy and I want everyone to enjoy my videos. So I'll be feeding both to um feeding more to both sides. So today, as you can see, we have here Garnet. So she is a undead ranger. She's an undead ranger and she is a debuffer. And um the main the whole point of I almost wanted to say Rebecca because um she just gives me Rebecca vibes. But the whole point of Garnet is that she summons her stuffed toy. And her stuffed toy's HP is based on 50% of Garnet's HP. Now, before we get more into the leaks, I want to say that my boyfriend has a YouTube channel. He posts Eversoul content, and you should definitely check it out. He is one of the best Eversoul YouTubers I know, so please go check him out. I will be linking his channel down below in the description. Alright, so we're going to check out the rest of the stuff. So here is her summoning animation. Here, let me make this full screen. Alright, there's a summoning in, um, animation. Her little bunny. Guys, she like totally gives me Rebecca vibes. And I don't know why. I don't know why I don't really like Rebecca that much. Um, Maybe it's just because I pull her so freaking much. Like, I'm not... If you like Rebecca that's good for you okay everyone can like whatever they like they can like and dislike whatever they want for me i dislike rebecca i don't know what about it i just when i pull her every time i just i get sad but this girl gives me like major rebecca vibes i don't know why but um i be skipping out on her banner whenever her banner comes out um i heard from a little birdie that um there might be an undead banner next don't take my word for it okay if um if i if this um was wrong you guys didn't hear it from me okay i didn't tell you um but she might be the next banner maybe anyways this is her animation for when you first pull her all right we're gonna go to the next animation oh wait this is just a picture of her ending screen so here let's full screen this i think this is i don't know is it her main skill or her ult yeah it's her ultimate i saw how they clicked on it oh my god her bunnies are so scary it looks like she does like some voodoo doll stuff is that just me guys she's giving me like voodoo doll vibes I mean, she, she likes whatever she likes, you know. If she wants to have a voodoo doll of a bunny, then she can have one. Or a million bunnies, you know, that's totally fine as well. She's like stabbing them though, I kind of feel bad for them. Those poor bunnies, it must hurt them. Those poor, poor bunnies. Kind of crazy, giving me crazy vibes here, guys. Alright, I... Don't I think these animations are like the same thing? Yeah, it's the same one. Let me see if this one's the same. Yeah, that one's the same as well. So these are like all the same animations. Sorry to disappoint, guys. Um, we don't have her costume leak out yet, but when that is out, I will definitely post that. Maybe not in a video by itself, just showing off her costume but maybe i'll post a community post about it maybe i don't know so this is just her picture this is her splash art and this is her kit 
so it's not in the um, format that it usually is um, but here's the translated version like I said guys in the beginning um, all these leaks are um, open to change obviously things might change um, when she comes out or before she comes out like as we see with Aki you know Aki had multiple changes um, after she was released before she was released so these are just leaks and they're all subjected to change but this is just to give you a good idea of what she's going to be like all right so her ultimate skill it begins at 350 percent and she does 350 percent attack from the nearest target she also removes all buffs shreds 20 percent of attack slash defense for 12 seconds but this does not stack with the debuff from her main skill so as you keep leveling her up and up and up it goes from 350 percent to 380 percent to 400 percent attack and then for the shredding of the attack slash defense it can go from 20 percent to 25 percent to 30 percent so this said her ultimate said it does not stack with the debuff from the main skill now let's read the main skill the main skill says it does 280 percent of attack onto the nearest target it also removes all buffs and shreds 20 percent of attack slash defense for 12 seconds so she basically does the same thing her main and her ult skill are like basically the same thing except her main skill does less damage than what her ultimate would do obviously so for her main skill as you level her up more it would go from 280 percent and then it would increase to 300 percent and then 320 percent and then for the shredding of the attack slash defense, it would be the same thing for the ultimate. It would be 20% to 25% to 30%. So for her passive, it says on taking damage, she gains invincibility for six in 600 mana recovery for 4 seconds. And then the cooldown, it decreases from 20 seconds to 17 seconds to 14 seconds. Her sub skill is she deals 140% attack to the nearest target and inflicts a heal block for 8 seconds. And then as you keep leveling her up, it goes from 8 seconds to 10 seconds to 12 seconds. That is crazy. Now that is going to be really, really, really annoying. That heal block right there, especially lasting up to 12 seconds. Oh, hell no. She's going to be annoying to go against. But I feel like if I had Garnet, my Garnet would be so noob. Like that wouldn't even matter. So her next sub skill is 100%. She deals 100% attack to the nearest target and then deals another 160% attack after 6 seconds. So that was her kit, her translated kit. So, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that you'll be going for Garnet? Or do you guys think that you're going to do a pass? If you're an undead team, this might be ideal for you. Because, um... Because, obviously, she has a decent kit. I don't know. That heal block, though, it's going to be very, very, very annoying. Complete counter for, um... All those good healers like Talia or Erica and whatnot. So let me know down below in the comments. Will you be going for Garnet? Or is this a pass for you? And you're going to wait for the possible demon banner coming up. Um, yep, that's right. You guys heard that right. A possible demon banner. Um, as you know, Liz a lot, the one who was shown in our newly spring event, pretty sure she's gonna be a demon and i'm pretty sure there's gonna be a banner for her we will just have to wait and see but when those leaks come out you can bet that i will be posting a video on it okay so stay tuned for that there hasn't been much leaks out on her yet but watch out she may be here sometime in april next month anyways thank you guys so much for watching again this is a quick video i hope it's a quick video i don't know but I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please check out my boyfriend's channel. I'll be linking his channel in the description down below. And make sure to give um, this video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to me to become a bun. That's right, guys. I call you guys my buns. Um, 
it has been a pleasure recording this for you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed watching now please have a great rest of your day slash night i will see you in the next week bye bye <music>